What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another card review video on another one of the new cards that has been spoiled for release in the Dark Illusion, the set that we get after Shining Victories. You know, the set that has all the new Dark Magician support in it, stuff like that. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about a new Shiranui card, Shiranui Sage. Now this card is very, very good. It is one of my favorite cards that I've seen released and spoiled in a long time because this card breathes its own sort of new life into the zombie theme and if zombies ever have any sort of resurgence in the future I could see this card consistently being a staple three of in any zombie deck from here on in even if it's not a Shiranui deck. Shiranui Sage it's a level 4 fire zombie monster with 500 attack and 0 defense and its effect is you contribute one zombie type monster special summon one zombie type tuner monster with 0 defense from your deck so it's literally Lone Fire Blossom for zombie type tuner monsters. I'll explain why this is important later because you may think this is extremely restricting. But the remainder of its effect is if this card is banished, you can target one of your banished Shiranui monsters except Shiranui Sage, special summon it. If you activate this effect while Shiranui style synthesis is on the field, you can target two monsters instead. You can only use each effect of Shiranui Sage once per turn. Now, its banished effect is obviously going to be the most relevant if you play a Shiranui deck, and obviously that is where this is going to be the most welcome. But, its first effect of you contribute one zombie type monster, special summon one zombie type tuner monster with zero defense from your deck, that is a Lone Fire Blossom that allows you direct access into Unizombie from your deck. Unizombie is a zombie tuner with zero defense. And what does Unizombie do? Unizombie starts sending Mizukis from your deck to the grave. It starts sending any zombie monster that you want from deck to grave. It starts hand correcting. It starts doing all these things. Unizombie is easily the most important zombie card in the game right now um, in terms of what it allows you to do alongside of Mizukis. And what makes this card even better is the fact that if you play this in zombie decks, just opening Shiranui Sage is just a one card Cyframe Lord Omega with a Mizuki Banished that you can put back into your graveyard off of that Omega's effect. I will explain. You summon Shiranui Sage, you normal summon it. You use its effect attributing itself to get Unizombie out of the deck. Use Unizombie's effect to send a Mizuki from deck to grave and increase its level by one, increasing it to level four. Mizuki banished itself to special summon the Shiranui Sage from your graveyard. You have a level 4 Unizombie, which is a tuner, and you have a level 4 Shiranui Sage on the field, which is a non-tuner. Make Omega. It's a simple one-card Omega that is very good for getting any zombie variant out of the early game, because Omega is literally the life and blood of zombie variants at this point in time, because it allows you to keep re recycling and reusing and reabusing Mizuki. Mizuki is at 3, but you can use it easily 7 to 8 times upwards of that many times in a duel, because of the fact that you can just keep summoning Omegas. And Omega keeps putting the Mizukis back unless you keep resummoning the Unizombie, which then further fuels you with more Mizukis. All of these things just snowball one into another. And its effect, its banished effect is actually just really good too. Um, anytime it's banished, you just target any of your banished Shiranui monsters except Sage and Special Summon it. You can banish Spectral Sword and this from Grave, and then immediately trigger this thing's effect to Special Summon the Spectral Sword back after your level 6 Zombie Synchro Monster hits the board thus allowing you even more access into cards like Omega. You can make Omega again, put this back in the grave, reset it, and do it again the following turn. Like, it just allows you so many different toolbox options. This card allows you to special summon things off of Swallow, banishing a card out of your deck. Like, all these different things come up. These are all factors. These are all great. You can turn Shogun Saga into even more damage by summoning Shogun Saga and banishing this, putting it to 35, and then this brings back anything like, say, uh, Spirit Master, that's 15, that's 5k by itself. That's 5k damage just with those two cards, and that Shogun Saga literally generated that by itself by Banishing Sage. There are all these different little niche interactions that come up with this card, and this card is just great for that because at the end of the day, it's still giving you access into more Unizombies. It's increased the amount of Unizombie in your deck from 3 to 6. Like, that's very good. Like, you want to open this before you open Unizombie. There's never been a card that you could easily just say, like, oh, I'd rather open this. And If you had the choice of opening Unizombie or this card, X card, you'd always want Unizombie. But this is the case, the first case we've had, where you literally want to open this because this card makes the Unizombie better. <laughs> like, it makes the Unizombie just better by itself. Like, all these different things um, come into play for factors, but... <clears throat> But anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this card in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. I will have some Shiranui games 
scheduled for later today playing this card. I played them a ton on stream yesterday. If you caught those, then you saw the things I was doing with the deck just to familiarize myself with it. Stuff like that. I'm going to play some games and put them up for you guys to watch on the channel as well. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more content from me. Links are in the description to my Twitch channel if you want to follow that and get notified when I go live. My Twitch alerts donation link if you want to donate directly to me and support me directly. Any and all money I get from YouTube and Twitch alerts is going towards a new computer to give better streaming capabilities and different gameplay capabilities, basically. Um, that's all that money is going towards at this current point in time. That's what it's all being pulled together. So if you want to support me directly for that, then definitely go for it. It's not required, but it would definitely be appreciated, and you have my gratitude. But the other links in the description are to my Facebook pages, my personal Facebook page, as well as my Facebook fan page. If you want to connect with me, chat with me, suggest decks to play, whatever, definitely send the decks to the Facebook fan page, and then do everything else on my personal Facebook page. Other than that, click on that if you have not. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me make money, and there's no reason to lie to you guys about that. If you have an ad block enabled, please disable it. I cannot express how much it helps, and like I've already said, any and all money I get from my YouTube channel for the foreseeable future is going towards me getting a new computer that is better built for gaming and streaming so that I can do more streams, do more in-depth gaming type things with you guys, possibly start a whole other channel dedicated to different games, stuff like that. There's, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to get into into the future, uh, but basically... That's just the gist of it, and I would have your eternal gratitude if you could either donate or just click some ads, basically. But other than that, that is all for this video. Like I said, I'll be playing some games with the new Shira Nui deck with Sage in it. Those will be going up later today. Uh, and again, let me know what you guys think about this card and the Shira Nui deck in general in the comments down below. But other than that, that's all for this video, and as always, guys, take care.